music that would make it okay There's always some reason To feel not good enough And it's hard at the end of the day I need some distraction
snow white dove Essence is pure sweet love A sign from above On the wings of a dove When trouble surround us When evils come The body grows weak the spirit grows numb When these things beset us He doesn't forget us He sends down his love On the wings of a dove On the wings of a snow white dove He sends his pure sweet love a sign from above, sign from above, on the wings of a dove, wings of a dove. When Noah had drifted on the flood many days, he searched for land in various ways. Troubles he had some. But wasn't forgotten God sent down His love On the wings of a dove On the wings of a snow white dove He sends His pure sweet love A sign from above On the wings of a dove On the wings of a dove went down to the waters that day he was baptized in the usual way when it was done God blessed his son he sent down his love sent down his love Wings of a dove, on the wings of a dove, on the wings of a snow white dove. He sends his pure, sweet love, a sign from above. Sign from above, on the wings of a dove, on the wings of a dove, on the wings of a snow white dove. He sends his pure, sweet love, a sign from above.
this song to those that have lost loved ones along the way. If we hold on, we're going to see them again after a while. How can I forget mm, the times you held my hand and wiped the tears from my eyes? Can I forget Oh yeah That when I need someone You were right by my side I know you had to be an angel in disguise Sent from God to bring joy to my life and now you're going back home And I want you to know I still hear your voice I still feel your touch And when I close my eyes I can see your smile And though you're gone away 
verse 4 and 5 says one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me when you're weary and feeling small, when tears are in your eyes, I will dry. Mm, when 
times get rough And friends just can't, can't be found Like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down like a bridge over troubled water. I will lay me down. And when you're down and out. We are ever so honored and grateful for your presence and support today as we lay our beloved dad to rest. We have lost the very backbone to our family, and though we have shed tears, this man called dad would have never wanted it this way. We would have, he would have wanted us to celebrate him both in life and in death. Nicholas Ellis Edward was an exceptional dad, teacher, mentor, and everything that anyone could have ever asked for. He was the first individual who we were privileged to motivate us. He enforced time and time again that whatever we do, do it to the best of our ability. He never believed in failure, but success. He stayed at our sides when we needed all this genuine love and support that the world couldn't give us. He was always so selfless, putting our needs before his very own. The father figure that many only dreamed of. The one who ensured that all the children he raised had an education and kept on striving. Again, even though it meant put 
putting everything concerning him on hold just so that we were successful men and women. Nobody is all perfect, but even what we thought as imperfections were just principles he lived by. Thanks be to God for such good example in our lives. He forever reminded us to pray, pray, pray. I won't be around all the time. And even it is vital to be a very well-educated man. Other things will eventually fall in place. He passed something valuable to all who had an encounter with him. Oh, and that jovial personality. He always wore a calm and peaceful face. Everyone he had an encounter with was a friend to him. Always knew how to crack up a room. Remember when I was in my prime learning French, my personal French teacher was he. He would interact ever so much for practice to become perfect. So much so, we did constantly so that the others in the household didn't understand everything and we laughed quite a bit about it. The games he and I played with each other swore we were kids, but just for laughs. Speaking of which, a very sensitive man towards his grandkids. They were his treasure and will continue being just that. Even living home years later and being in our own homes, he ensured that he traveled miles just to pay us a visit and most of all, gift us. He cherish, we cherish those moments. A father is forever a child's first love. We never miss that love until then that the breath of life is no more. We have come together to celebrate and in remembrance of his life. We are going to definitely miss the constant I love you, the prayers, the encouragements. Even now, hearing your very voice in my head saying, raise your head, be confident, speak up, let your voice be heard. You believed in me. You believed in us. We are forever grateful for the lessons taught. You pressed on till the very end. Even when man said no, you kept on going till the appointed time came and you were prepared. We have comfort of knowing that there is no more pain, no more struggle. One day we shall meet again, so love, dad, friend. Un jour nous nous revevons, monsieur, amour, papi, ami. One day we all will definitely pass this very bridge. Until then, let us continue to live and love one another. Death is inevitable. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 there is no man that have power over the spirit to retain the spirit neither have he power in the day of death
good afternoon once again brothers and sisters now I can see people there please answer me good afternoon brothers and sisters thank you I know we are of heavy hearts but we are a people of hope a people of faith before we begin our funeral mass for the celebration of life of our brother Nicholas Edward brothers and sisters I encourage us so please put cell phones on vibrate. Now I invite us to play stand for our opening prayers. gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. In the waters of baptism, our brother Nicholas Edward died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May now share with him eternal glory. Amen. So our celebrant for the funeral mass is Father Yvonne. Our co-celebrant is Mr. Augustus Gray. We begin our celebration with our processional hymn, second page of your leaflets, Canticle of the Sun.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. We gather this afternoon to celebrate the life of our brother, Nicholas Edward. I want to begin by expressing our condolences to the family and friends of our brother. We know it's a difficult time. But we know, as we mentioned at the beginning, we are people of hope. My brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death, and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our brother, that he may now share in Christ's victory. And let us pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant, Nicholas Edwards, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We now listen to and meditate upon the words of our readings. The first reading is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 2 to 3. It says, There is a time for everything under the heavens, Our readings will be read by Denzel Maynard. Good afternoon, everybody. There is an appointment time for everything and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant. Do you agree? A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. I thank you. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, our responsorial psalm, 10,000 reasons.
reading is taken from the book of the prophet John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. It says, In my father's house there are many dwelling places. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. We, what we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know when it is revealed we shall be like him. For we shall see him as his. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel. The good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please Thank be seated. You. Brothers and sisters, life is a journey. Life is a journey. It is a journey that starts from birth to death. And it is wisdom when we understand that. It is wisdom when we understand that life is a journey. We who are here today, we will not be here forever. We are both travelers. No matter who you are. No matter where you're from. No matter how much money you have. No matter if you have a nice car. No matter if you have a nice house. We, we are travelers. We are on a journey. We are pilgrims on our journey through life. And if we live it well, if we do well, if our life is marked by love and forgiveness, if our life is full with love of God and love of our brothers and sisters, then 
our destination will be with God. So brothers and sisters, this afternoon, we gather here to pray for our brother. Our brother, Nicholas Edward, who has made it to the end of his journey. So today, this is the end of his journey. But remember, all of us here, we will also uh, come to the end of our journey. We will. I mean, I wish I... It's not a way I'm trying to make anyone scared. It's just wisdom. It's just I have to say it. We are not here to stay and we have to always remember this. Because I'm saying this and I'm emphasizing on this because a lot of people have not realized that. They have not realized that they are not here to stay forever. And I, I mean, no matter what you say to them, it's almost like they're not listening. It's almost like they're not listening. No matter how much people have died in their eyes, it's almost like they're not seeing anything. It's not a way to scare anyone, but it's a reality that we have to always remember. We are not here to stay forever. We gather this afternoon to pray for our brother because he has come, he has made it to the end of his journey. In hope and faith, we gather to express our farewell to him and present him to God's mercy. St. Paul tells us we should have hope in God. We should have hope that God will show us show mercy. Because if we truly hope in God, if we truly hope in the Lord, we will not be deceived and we will not be disappointed. This afternoon we gather in a spirit of faith and hope. So we hope and we pray that the Lord will let his light shine upon our brother and that he will rest in peace. This is our prayer this afternoon. To rest in peace is a blessing that the church gives to every, at every funeral. The reason we ask that is because after the up and down of this life, for a soul to find peace is the greatest blessing they can have. After all the up and down of this life, peace is what a soul needs. The gospel tells us that our Lord is merciful and he is full of compassion. He does not judge us, but he invites us to change our way of life and to go to him. This is all he asks of each of us. It is because of this faith and confidence that we ask the Lord to consider Mr. Nicholas Edwards' good deeds and act of kindness and love instead of his weaknesses. Everyone have weaknesses. Our prayer this afternoon is like begging. We're praying that God may look at the good things, the good deeds that he did in his life. The act of kindness, the way he was kind to people who were in need of his love. We ask the Lord, look at those things. Don't look at the weaknesses, but look at the good things in his life. This is what we are doing this afternoon. We're begging, we're praying for that. Brothers and sisters, while we have gathered here, not so much to talk about our brother. We're not here to talk about him. We did that in the eulogy. We are here mostly to pray for him. That is our job, to pray for him. But it is good to notice some quality that our brother showed in his life. When I spoke this morning to one of his family members, they described him, the person described him as a very calm, calm person. I don't know if you agree. 
He was a very kind person, a very helpful person, and a person of prayer. Mr. Nicholas loved church, and he would frequently come here in this church to light a candle and to say his prayers. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And my prayer this afternoon is, and my hope is that his children will follow in the same path. His family will do the same. Because that is great. One other thing they say is that he always invites his family and friends to pray. You know, because he always said to them that he will not be there forever. He will not be with them always. He will not always be with them. I think he understood that life was a church, right? Because he understood that he will not be with them forever. And he, his advice to them is to pray. Pray. This is great. This is beautiful. It's someone who understood, you know, who had the wisdom to see that life is not going to last forever. These qualities, brothers and sisters, are beautiful qualities. Which are, today in our time, are becoming more and more scarce these days. You know, people, people don't go to church. If I were to, to ask, a lot of people here only come to church for funeral, right? And they are Catholics. They only come to church for funerals. A lot of people don't spend time with God. And the thing is, no matter how much you speak about it, they just don't listen. They cannot hear you. You can speak about it from January to December, and they will still not hear you. Brothers and sisters, death can rob us of almost everything. But it cannot rob us of love. The love you show, the love Mr. Nicholas shown in his life, will follow him everywhere. Mr. Nicholas prayed for many people while he was alive. Today it is our turn to pray for him. So let us pray for the repose of his soul. Brothers and sisters, there are certain things in life, as I men always mention to people, there are certain things in life that are beyond our control. And time is one of them. We don't know when the Lord will call us. We don't know when he will call us. When it will be our time. When we will reach the end of our journey. The only thing we can do is to make sure we are ready whenever he calls. Brothers and sisters, remember, the love you, shown, you show in your life will survive death and remain on, uh, alive in people's memory and alive with God. The love you show in your life will stand for you even before God himself. So brothers and sisters, let us take our faith seriously. Let us take our faith seriously. Let us resist the Lord no more. Let us take our faith seriously. Brothers and sisters, let us express our farewell by our prayers. May the Lord give him rest. May the Lord comfort his family and friends and close ones, loved ones, during this difficult time. And may the Lord give us the grace to look for him as he, look, as he looking for us. May the Lord be patient with us, strengthen our faith, our hope, and bring us one day to our heavenly home. May Nicholas rest in peace. May the soul of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace.
Shall we stand for our bidding prayers? God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. For Nicholas Edward, who in baptism was giving the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. For the family and friends of our brother Nicholas, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, that they may realize that they are not alone, that the Lord will not leave them alone and they never fall into despair, we pray to the Lord. For all of us gather here, assemble here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered again in God's kingdom, we pray that the Lord in his love and mercy may help us to take our faith seriously, take our time to look for the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters, and today for our brother Nicholas Edward. Cleanse them of their sins, and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We now have collection. I invite two volunteers to assist with collection, please. The bags are up front. During collection, we will sing from page four on our leaflets. There's a man in the hills.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and love of all his own church. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant, Nicholas, on whose funeral day we offer you the sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have claimed on him, or any human fault have affected him, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has done, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turned to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claimed. <laughs> sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gabriel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and today especially for Nicholas Edward. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. In your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Catholics eligible to receive communion, you line up forward, please. During this time, we will sing Goodness of God, page five of your leaflets.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Nicholas Edward, who today has journeyed from this world, may by his sac this sacrifice be cleansed and free from sin, and so receive life everlasting through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Kinga Joseph, Crystal Philip, Casey Stephen, and Silverius Philippe, our four witnesses to the table on my far left. During the signing of the register, we have a special rendition. I invite the person to come forward, please. Bless the Lord. No matter what you're going through, just remember the Lord never gives us more than we can bear, and He will always be with us to comfort our hearts in our times of trial. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles it only lasts always. For there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and sing. I know that I can make it I know that I can stand No matter what may come my way My life is in your hands With Jesus I can take it With Him I know I can stand No matter what Come my way, my life is in your hands. Come on, you don't have to worry, and don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, troubles they don't last.
Brothers and sisters, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again. When the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroy even death itself. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. During the blessing we sing from page six of our leaflets, we remember.
pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother, Nicholas Edward, who in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestow upon Nicholas in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. Until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, once again, I, on behalf of the parish, on behalf of Father John, would like to express our sincere condolences to the family. We would like also to remind you as a church, we are a family, and if there is anything we can do to help, please don't hesitate. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Our recession of him. I'm walking on my way to the Lord.
the life of sin in this world I'm living in. I have done forbidden things I shouldn't do. I ask a beggar along the way if he could tell me where to stay, where I could find real happiness and love that's true. Across the bridge, there's no more sorrow. Across the bridge, there's no more pain. The sun will shine across the river. Never be unhappy again. Follow the footsteps of the king till you hear the voices ring. They'll be singing out the glory of the land. The river Jordan will be near. The sound of trumpets you will hear, and you'll behold the most precious place ever known to man. Across the bridge, there's no more sorrow. Across the bridge, there's no more pain. The sun will shine across the river, and you'll never be unhappy again. Shine across the river, and you'll never be unhappy again. <laughs> This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. I have a loving mother just over in glory land. And I don't expect to stop until I shake her hand. She's waiting now for me in heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just over in glory land, we'll live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their songs of sweetest praise drip back from heaven's shore, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. We thank thee each morning. 
for a newborn day where we may work the fields of new mown hay. We thank thee for the sunshine and the air that we breathe, O oh Lord. We thank thee. Thank thee for the rivers that run all day. Thank thee for the little birds that sing along the way. Thank thee for the trees and the deep blue sea, O oh Lord, we thank Thee. Oh yes, we thank Thee, Lord, for every flower that blooms, birds that sing, fish that swim, and the light of the moon. We thank Thee every day as we kneel and pray. That we were born with eyes to see these things. Thank thee for the fields where the clover is grown. Thank thee for the pastures where cattle may roam. Thank thee for thy love so pure and free, O oh Lord. We Birds that sing, fish that swim, and the light of the moon. We thank Thee every day as we kneel and pray that we were born with eyes to see these things. Yes, we thank Thee for the fields where the clover is grown. Thank Thee for the pastures where cattle may roam. Thank Thee for Thy love, so pure and so free, O oh Lord. We thank Thee. Secret. 
God can do. Taught 
27 verse 4 and 5 says one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me when you're weary and feeling small, when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. Mm, times get rough and friends just can't can be found like a bridge over troubled water Like 
when you're on the street When evening falls So hard I will comfort you And I'll take your part When darkness comes And pain is all All around Like a bridge Over troubled water I will lay He
What two? May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayer. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together, we may meet Christ Jesus when he, who is our life, appears in heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you allow the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the graves a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal body. Grant that our brother may sleep here in peace, until you awaken him to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light see light, and know the splendor of God. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, because God has chosen to call our brother Nicholas from his life of himself, we commit his body to the earth. For we are God, and unto God. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord. 
that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. Together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant in peace. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he desires to be own. As his faith unite him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Mercy, Lord. You know the anguish of the sorrowful and you are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Be your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in the lasting goodness to Christ our Lord. Eternal wealth grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May he soul and the soul of all the faithful disciples to the mercy of God rest in peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit remain with you all. Brothers and sisters, once again, I thank you for the right dimension to some of the family members. The mother of son is your faith. The father is always a faithful and beautiful person. So we want to be with you at this time and we will sit in prayer. So once again, my condolences.
by chains are gone I've been set free My God, my Savior Has ransomed me And like a flood His mercy reigns Unending love Amazing
If I could catch a star for you I swear I'd steal them all tonight To make your every wish come true You every dream for all your life But that's not how the story goes The world is full of perfect plans If there's a promise that I broke I know one day you'll understand when times are hard, I know you'll be strong I'll be there in your heart and you will carry on Like moonlight on the water and sunlight in the sky Fathers and daughters never say Gave me one dream of my own So learn to love and spread your wings And find the one to call your home When times are hard I know you'll be strong I'll be there in your heart And you will carry When times are hard, I know you'll be strong I'll be there in your heart, and you will carry on Make 
me love just to comfort me, yeah Then finally make me do just what my mama said Later that night when I was asleep He left the doll under my sheets Never dreamed that he would be gone from me
I've been waiting for so long. I try not to be sad. Something to write. But it hurts. Love to come alone. I hope you know you're my hero. I love you so much. Now I dream to come It's been 15 years, Daddy. Maybe you're all that I want. I'm finishing college. When you're lying here in my eyes. I got into med school. I'm finding it hard to believe. I really want to help people. In heaven. You have always inspired me. Love is all that I need. I met a nice guy. And I found it very young. Who is really special to me. It isn't too hard to see. I think you would really like him. Talk about our life together. Mom says he's a lot like you. I think about you every day. I'm still sad, but you make me strong. Can you see me? Can you see me? I miss you, Daddy. I really miss you, Daddy. I miss you, Daddy. I miss you, Daddy. Around the throne 
not for the memories Remember the good times that we had Let them slip away from us when things got bad How clearly I first saw you smiling in the sun I wanna feel your warmth upon me I wanna be the one I will remember you Will you remember me? Don't let your life pass you by Weep not for the memories I'm so tired But I can't sleep Standing on the edge of something much too deep It's funny how we feel so much But we cannot say a word We are screaming Inside, but we can't be heard I will remember you Will you remember me? Oh, don't let your life pass you by Weep not for the memories Weep not for the memories Come on everybody, get your feet happy, let's go, come on!
to my pain, y'all. 